They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for it is so written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who will govern my people Israel. That's Micah f- chapter 5, verse 2. You can see what Matthew's doing. Matthew sees this as a messianic pro- uh, prophecy. This is, the, this is your king. Well, he picks up on the king. Why? Well, because what's Herod? Herod's the ruler of this area. Herod doesn't want a king. Herod, in fact, is, I mean, one, he's just known for being paranoid. Pretty brutal guy. Um, But this is going to be provocative. Now, let me just share a little something with you from the Jewish oral tradition, because we know what Herod does. Herod will eventually unleash hell on these people. He's going to go through what we call the slaughter of the innocents. Kill all of the children of the area. And you may think, my goodness, that's brutal. And of course it is. But here's the other thing. What story does it mimic? What story in the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament, can you remember that is something similar to this? I hope your mind immediately goes to Exodus the slaughter of of the the Hebrew children. And even there, I say the Hebrew children, but that may be a little too limiting. Here's a fun little thing in the Jewish oral tradition. When Pharaoh gives his order to go and slaughter all of the children there in, in Egypt, it's predicated upon it turns out, again, in the oral tradition, it's not, in, it's not in the written word, but in oral tradition, it's predicated upon one of his magicians came to him and said, a boy is going to be born to you, dear Pharaoh, who's going to overthrow you. And in the oral tradition, they don't know if he's Egyptian or Hebrew. They have no idea. It was simply a magician who came to Herod. I hope you see the connection here. What do we have here coming to Herod? It's the Magi. It's literally these magicians who are coming to him saying, a king will be born. What did Pharaoh do? He heard from his magicians, someone's going to overthrow you, of course, it was Moses. And so what does he do? He says, slaughter them all, every male that's born to you. Oftentimes, when we read scripture, we think it's only the Hebrew children. But in the oral tradition, it was both Hebrew and Egyptian because Pharaoh was so worried someone was going to overthrow him. And I think we see the same thing here. Herod is just going to wipe them all out. He doesn't, he, he does not care who is going to be wiped out here in this slaughter. For Matthew, this is really important that we have yet another telling of the Exodus story. 